up, y'all? I actually got out of bed to do this reaction. Uh, apparently, Sting has some things to say, and it looked like he got interrupted, maybe. So, let's see what happens. I want to see this. I'm going to hold it. Yes, I'm shirtless. I don't care what anybody has to say. Darby, that's the next thing right there. I don't care what nobody got to say. Darby Allen has the he has the potential to be the next thing. Well, not the next thing, but you know you, you give her me. Taz still Taz still talking trash. I heard some I heard some stories about Taz. I ain't, I ain't gonna. That's gonna be a story for another time. It's hard to tell that Sting aged with that face paint on his face. Boy, if he starts wrestling in AEW. And I'm not hating on Sting or none of that. I, I know why they couldn't have the match between him and Taker. It's just, I mean, now I think about it, the more they waited, the more it, it, it probably wasn't going to happen anyway, so. I told you, I just got out of bed to do this. All right, there's Darby. He's like that. He's like the charismatic enigma of AEW, basically. As far as as far as I'm concerned. Some of you old school AEW fans, uh, I mean WCW fans, you guys been telling me like AEW kind of gives you guys more like a WCW feel. Me personally, it kind of gives me like, like I wasn't I wasn't born around the WCW time, but I was for uh, the old school TNA Impact Thursday night on Spike every Thursday. When I started watching TNA, it was when Kurt Angle, Booker T, Christian, Kevin Nash, AJ Styles, pretty much anybody that was a TNA original at the time was there. I started watching TNA when I was like, like my second half of my kindergarten year, I think. Yeah, it was. It was. All right, y'all. I thought I'd react to that. Um... I think that was worth me getting out of bed for. Uh, post comments down below, and I'll see you guys. Keep it fresh. Stay blessed. Peace out.